This is the 2023 Acer Chromebook Plus 515. It's a clamshell design with a 15.6 inch screen and thanks to it being a Chromebook Plus model you know it's going to have some pretty well specced internals. I've been using it for about the last three weeks now and I want to take you through all you're going to need to know about it if you're considering buying this model and what to watch out for as usual in the spec variations. Thanks to Chili Bob PR for making this review unit from AC UK available to me to bring you this review. Of course it had been opened up before but the unboxing is all very standard, just the Chromebook and charger needed. In the hand the first thing you notice is the full plastic build but it does feel well put together without any flex to worry about. And you've got a part textured design on the lid to give it a bit of character and a slightly more premium feel. The colour is called steel grey in the US but iron in the UK and the weight comes in at 1.68 kg, that's the equivalent of 3.71 pounds. Not too bad for a 15 inch Chromebook, that's coming in a little bit under the HP 15A Chromebook Plus that I showed you on the channel last year. To cover off the core specs of this Acer 515 that qualify it to be a Chromebook Plus model, the model I've got here has a 13th gen Intel Core i3 processor, many also have the 12th gen processors and there's also i5 and i7 variants. Either way, Chrome OS updates will last through to the AUE date of June 2032. This model has 8GB of DDR5 RAM and I've got 128GB of universal flash storage, but there are some with 256GB. All 515 will have a full HD IPS screen and this one has a matte finish and it's non-touch, but there are some models with a touch screen so it's worth keeping an eye out for those. The display on this one is bright enough for indoor use, I believe it's a 250 nit panel, it could have been nice to see it a little bit brighter. And that 15.6 inch screen goes back 180 degrees but it's not a convertible. The final checkbox to give this the Chromebook Plus status is the Full HD webcam you'll find at the top of the screen in the plastic bezels and as you'd expect it's got a manual privacy slider. Video quality is good in general but I did notice in different lighting situations it didn't perform as well as some of the other Full HD webcams webcams that I've tested on other Chromebook Plus models recently. You also of course get all of the Chromebook Plus camera controls for lighting and background blur. Looking at the connectivity around the device, on the left hand side there's USB-C for power data and display out, as well as an HDMI port, a full size USB-A 3.1 port and a power and charge indicator LED. Over on the right hand side there's a headset audio jack, a second USB-C port and a Kensington lock port. It seems to be continuing a theme of recent with no card reader. I did test it out with the Tobin 1 dock at my desk and as well as that offering card readers it also happily ran my two full HD monitors as extended displays as you may expect and I could also use the screen of the 515 as a third display. Wireless connectivity is also well specced with Wi-Fi 6E and it uses Bluetooth 5.1 whilst not the newest standard I found no issue connecting peripherals like my PlayStation 4's controller. Moving down to the keyboard deck, Acer have prioritised a well-sized keyboard and speakers over having a dedicated number pad as many 15 inch Chromebooks do. So if you're not heavily into number crunching in Google Sheets or similar you may actually prefer this well-spaced keyboard combined with the upward firing speakers and the larger screen. The keys have what I'd describe as a medium travel to them and with its size it's easy to be accurate when typing. It'd just be nice to have a little more feedback from it. The grey of the keycaps matches the keyboard deck. I think the optional backlit keyboard could be a big improvement to watch out for. The touchpad is excellent. It looks to be the same model we've seen in other Aces like the more entry-level 315. The Ocean Glass branding that Acer to give it refers to recycled ocean bound plastic that's been used in the touchpad to give it what Acer call a glass like feel and I really think it achieves this well whilst not being glass. It's a large size and feels smooth and accurate for taps, touch and gestures. The upward firing speakers are good, the sound is fairly rich but I'd say it's lacking a little bass. They get loud enough and having them firing up rather than being positioned on the bottom of the Chromebook is always a big benefit. Here's an example using the intro track from this video. Meeting the Chromebook Plus spec, you know performance in Chrome OS is going to feel snappy even with multiple users, tabs and apps as well as a bit of light gaming. There was only one slight oddity I found with Real Racing 3 throwing up this checkered background. With the Core i3 I thought the fans and heat were going to bother me more but they really weren't much of an issue at all. I only really noticed the fans when I was pushing things. Battery life with the 50 watt hour battery seemed decent but like other Chromebook Plus models it's really going to come down to how you use it and how hard you're 
you're pushing the extra power this Chromebook has. I'd easily get into a second day with light use or I'd likely feel I'd want to charge it the same day if I'd been using it a bit more intensely. I think the claim 10 hours as usual would only be possible with light use and running the screen at a lower brightness. Recharge time was also impressive with Acer's claim of getting to around 50% battery life in just over 30 minutes seeming spot on from my testing and that was using the 65 watt included charger. Giving the 515 a side by side comparison to the more entry level Acer Chromebook 315 that I've shown on the channel recently and you can see there are some familiar carryovers such as what look to me to be the same touchpads. On the flip side you can also notice some different choices with the keyboards, speakers and the design that make this 515 more premium with a very different set of internals too and of course the Chromebook Plus software here as well. I'll link to my video on the 315 in the description of this one if you'd like to compare them more. Overall, if you're looking for a larger screen Chromebook that's not going to miss a beat in performance and bring all the benefits of the Chromebook Plus update, this Acer Chromebook 515 should definitely be on your shortlist. If you want to check out more Chromebook content from the channel, check out this next video on screen now and do please give this one a like if it's been useful.